Hello again, Heather the Painter here. Today we're going to work on cloning and setting up our clone source correctly with our clone source palette, which is a very, very powerful feature that allows you to just stay in your flow and keep creating while in Painter X3. So we're going to open up our image. I've done a file open or command O and I have opened up Lonnie Hoke's beautiful painting and I've mounted it onto my screen or made it full screen by hitting Command or Control M for mount. You'll see in my clone source that we are currently selecting our current pattern, which means if I were to clone right now, we're going to get this lovely hens and chicks pattern. And that is because this is Painter's standard default clone source image. It kind of gives you an idea that something's going wrong. So you'll see that we don't have any other choices offset or even image open because we haven't cloned anything yet. So I'm going to undo out of those. And since I've gone over my undos, I'm going to just simply reopen it. File open once again. Mounted my canvas. Command or Control M. And I'm going to go to File, Quick Clone. You'll see my screen flashes out and it goes slightly gray. Now this is because our tracing pa paper is activated. And you'll see that our tracing paper here is set to 50. I'm going to take this all the way down to zero. Now when we take a look at our clone source, we can see that our source is coming from our image. And our tracing paper is set to zero. As well as now we have a thumbnail showing us what we're going to be painting from or pulling our source information from. Now if you ever want to open up any multiple clone source images or pull up other images for Painter to pull your source information from, you simply go to this left icon, Open Source Image, and we can open anywhere we would like. Our clone source panel will now resize it automatically to fit our current canvas. So going back to my original painting, I do need to make sure that my tracing paper stays to zero. Now I'm going to pull out my layers palette just so you can take a look closely at what's going on here. You'll see that my canvas is blank and white. This means there's currently nothing on my canvas. So if we were to start painting, I can paint a smiley face here. This is currently what's on my canvas. You can see on that little icon. But if we toggle our tracing paper over here, or if we hit Command or Control T, you can see this is almost a ghost file of what our tracing paper is showing us. This is what we're trying to paint. But this is what's actually on our canvas. So all we have to do is simply activate our brushes, and any brush can be activated into cloning mode. We can either hit U on our keyboard, or go to our color palette and click on this little clone stamp icon. You'll see that our color, color wheel completely grays out. Now what this is allowing us to do is clone from our source file, which means it will paint with an image instead of painting with color. So now we're starting to clone and not paint with color. I'm Heather the Painter. Please visit heatherthepainter.com for more tips and tutorials.